Okay, so the next step on this particular knife is going to be put the holes in. You can see I've epoxied in the, the I don't know what to call it. So just a little inlay right now. I've epoxied that in there. I need to put in a pivot hole. I need to put in a stop pin hole. And I need to put a hole back here for a keychain. So I will do that now. Let's see if I can prop this camera up so that it gets what I'm doing over there. I'll go to town. First hole is the pivot hole. It's a through hole all the way through the titanium and the carbon fiber. The next hole is for the stop pin and it is not a through hole. I want to stop 20 thousandths up from the bottom surface so I will be very careful here. The stop 20 thousandths Go to the next hole, drill it, and that is that. I've now put the three holes into the thing. Pivot hole, stop pin hole, and keychain hole. Here's one I did a minute ago, so you can see it all. Uh, I haven't ground off the e extra epoxy yet, but my grinder is up against my bedroom wall, and my wife's in there sleeping, so happy home equals not grinding in the middle of the night when the wife's sleeping because she has to go to work in the morning. So you can see through hole for the keychain, through hole for the pivot, and the other hole is not a through hole. It's a blind hole, which will keep the stop pin trapped inside of the material so there's only two holes out here boy it's hard to get a not reflection on this lightning strike stuff and you also see the reasoning for my titanium inlay there I'm afraid of in use this knife beating up the the stop pin and elongating the hole if the if the stop pin was just pressed into the carbon fiber so I came up with this titanium inlay so that it's at least pressing against metal and distributing all the pressure through that metal and the epoxy and just spreading it out so I'm not beating up the laminate. Um, that's it. That's all I can show you for today. And we'll try and shoot something again tomorrow. Hopefully the rest of my goods will show up and I'll be able to continue on with making this knife.